Okay, so it's a day where a lot of basketball was talked around town, but we're keeping our eye on the prize. That prize right there, baby. The Seahawks are still playing. It's getting closer and closer uh, to game time. We had an interesting conversation with an old pal of yours today. Uh, Jamie Dukes works for the NFL Network, former uh, NFL player, played with the Falcons for that matter. And, you know, we kind of got a little, I got a sense that he kind of, you know, keeps track on them, keeps tabs on them, that sort of yeah. thing. And, uh, you know, he made an interesting point, we thought, today. We, we've sort of in general talked about a fast start and, and what a fast start could mean and, and uh, you know as we looked into some of the numbers and plot into some of them today the Falcons have been a very fast starting team it's the one thing they have really done well this year is start fast in most of their games and the Seahawks we know conversely have not so boy if the Seahawks could start fast you'd think that'd give them a real advantage uh, Jamie agrees to say the very least. Well, yeah, we, we brought up the idea that we had talked about earlier in the week, and that is that this is a team in the Falcons that come in with a lot on their shoulders, a lot of tension, there's a lot of angst out there because they've had no success in the postseason, they've been great in the regular season, Matt, uh, you know, Matt Ryan hasn't won a postseason game, everybody's like, who cares about the regular season, 13-3, and three, big deal, what right. have you done for us in the postseason? So I think they come in tight to begin with. They get in the hole early, I felt like, anyway, that's going to be a great advantage for the Seahawks potentially and asked Jamie, hey, do you agree with that or am I just fishing for stuff? He said if, if they get down 14 to nothing or something like that early, uh, paraphrasing, he said you can just kiss it goodbye. He's got no belief that they're going to come back from something like that. I, I don't know if it's that extreme. They Isn't seem, that something, man? I mean, they've just, got a lot a of talent. It's a 13 and 3 team, and you think if yeah. they fall behind two scores, they're done. But maybe it is more the mental aspect of it that this is a team that's tight. This is a team that feels the pressure of getting something done in the postseason, and that could be just a, a nightmare come true if the Seahawks all of a sudden just whether it's a defensive score, I don't care how they do it, but if they pile up like the Redskins did to the Seahawks. I, I just don't think that the, the Falcons mentally are in a position to come back from something like that. Or, it's, it, at the very least, it's, it's a decided advantage for the Seahawks with a mentally yeah. fragile team potentially in the, in the Atlanta Falcons. Well, not just that, but it's not the way they play. I mean, you know, they're, right. they're a team they're that actually, right? With with all the all the offensive talent they have, anyway, they're not a team that is known for coming from behind. So it's completely out of the comfort zone. I think it conversely makes uh, you know the flip side even more important that the Seahawks do not have a, a a star like they've had. And unfortunately for the Hawks, I mean, this is the thing: they normally don't start well. They normally take them a little bit while, a little bit of time to to get going a little bit. And and you know, it's just you just kind of look at odds. You know, you fall behind fourteen to nothing, you're a second straight week on the road. What are the odds that you're going to come? back and win that game. And besides which, that would feed into, I think, more of Atlanta's confidence that this game is going the way that our games go. So really, maybe more so than in other games, the beginning of this game is really important. And not so much for the Seahawks to, to, to be great if they go 14-0 or 21-0. How about nothing, nothing after one? How about seven, seven after one? I think you still feel like you got a, you got a good advantage there. Yeah, just don't dig off. This is a better team. This is a better team than the Washington Redskins. They're they're better across the board, I would say. And they, and as much as they bend on defense and give up yards, they're fifth in the league in points allowed. So they don't allow a lot of points to be scored. So uh, this. You, you can't afford to dig a hole like you right. did last week against the, the Redskins. I think if that happens, it's going to be tough sledding. It's good stuff, too, from Jamie Dukes. You can check out the podcast on the Bob and Gross page.